the piece that I have in the show is called Fitting In With The Squares, and it is made out of roughly 300 Norman Rockwell commemorative plates that I cut into 9,000 pieces so that I could cull 2,400 of the right color uh, to create the portrait. It's my first self-portrait, and um, the way that it came to be was really I, uh, during a period of uh, grieving following the 2016 presidential election, I found myself at a point where um, I just moved my studio home and I was looking to create something new, but I just simply didn't have the momentum. So uh, I ended up sorting everything I had, you know, um, and kind of organizing and then going through my um, going through my memory boxes, a bit of soul searching, and I ended up running across many things, but two things that sat in my mind next to each other were a collection of plates, these Norman Rockwell plates, uh, as well as a, um, a, a photograph that was taken in the late 90s, it was one of those accidental photos that you find on a roll of film, um, it was shot with my like point and shoot Vivitar. So, uh, so yeah, so in my mind, I think the colors are what came together first, but then pretty soon the content just kind of, oh, of course, no wonder my brain is putting those two things together. And so that really started a period of research, of looking into Rockwell and his history, the types of imagery I was finding on these commemorative plates, uh, who they were marketed to, which were uh, children of the Depression. Um, Plate of the Month clubs were extremely popular in the late 1970s. And these plates generally sold for about $30 each, which was quite a bit of money at the time. Uh, inside of the box that they would come in was not only a certificate of their authenticity, but also a, uh, a brochure that talked about their second market value and how they would accrue value. So really what they were doing was selling uh, heirloom objects, which is interesting because here I am finding them at thrift stores for like three bucks each. And what is a thrift store? A thrift store is a place where sentiment goes to live on, like it's one step up from a trash heap. So why were these images on these plates not culturally resonating? Why was it that these were, you know, I hypothesize that a lot of these plates were kind of passed off after um, the, like after the estate sale, right? Now the type of plates I was running into weren't the four freedoms. Um, it was more so images of like me, mom, pee, pa, uh, you know, playing with the grandkids, or maybe more normative kind of marital imagery. When I think about when it, when I went through the process, which took 18 months of cutting and, and designing the piece to what it is now, um, I had plenty of time to reflect upon how we've gotten here as a nation. And also, really, I've been in, in, in question as to how women like me are supposed to fit within this narrative of a perfected America. Who was the person who created those images? Why did Norman Rockwell make those images? So this was really kind of like the beginning and the seed of, of how fitting in with the squares came to be.